Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regions, problem number eight. Uh, if you want to access these exams, they're freely available online. Go to nysedregions.com, uh, click on the appropriate tabs. So here's the problem. Uh, the n equilateral triangle has sides of length 20. To the nearest tenth, what is the height of the equilateral triangle? 10, 11.5, 17.3, or 23.1. I recommend you pause the video. Try this on your own. Do whatever you can do to get the right answer. Even if it's not, even if it's a process of elimination, any any type of geometric reasoning that you could do to do this problem, do it. Um, and if you get the same answer as we do, definitely hit the like button. So this is to the nearest tenth, and we want the height, okay? Um, and it's an equilateral. Let's see. So uh, what I do is I draw. I always draw a diagram. So here's my diagram, equilateral triangle. The best that I could do, um, equilateral triangle means, it does help to know what an equilateral triangle means, that all sides are congruent. Okay, and we want the height. So what we want is the length of this height. Okay, so if this is enough, by the way, to, to get you an answer, stop and try it on your own. So now uh, this is 20. All the sides are in fact are 20. This is all 20. Hopefully this is enough already to tell you that the side length has to be less than 20. Use anything that you could do, any geometric reasoning that you can do to get the answer in this case. Uh, the answer has to be less than 20. So I'm going to say already because, well, because the side is like 20, it has to be less than 20. The height has to be less than 20. So I'm going to guess it's not 23. Uh, point one. It, the height doesn't look like it's half the the length of a side, so it's probably not ten. And I'm it's I'm gonna guess it's not that. So I'm gonna guess it's this answer. Uh, that's my guess right now. So let's see if I can get if I get it right. If the bottom is length twenty, then this side is length ten. This is a right triangle with a side h, and I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, it's uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c squared is the hypotenuse length of a c is the length of a hypotenuse, and these are legs squared. Okay, so uh, lengths of legs squared. So ten squared plus the height h squared equals the hypotenuse twenty squared. And I just do the algebra at this point. 100 plus h squared is equal to uh, 400. Subtract 100. Subtract 100. You got h squared equals 300. Take the square root. Square root. You got h equals, uh, let's see, the square root of 300 uh, helps to no have an idea of what that is. Uh, it's definitely bigger than 14 squared, so that's definitely going to be my answer already. I know that. But let's get an actual answer. Square root. Uh, it's uh, oops. Square root 300. Okay. 17.3250808. So 17.3. So that is, in fact, the answer. Uh, again, my geometric intuition was that this height had to be definitely less than, smaller than the side. It had to be, it looks like it's bigger than half, than this half, this 10. So it has to be bigger than 10. And it looks like it's actually close to the length of the, the, the side. So I was going to guess 17.3. 11.5 seemed too small for me. That's, that's where my geometric intuition took me. Now, if you were looking for just the answer to this question, definitely hit the like button and then uh, subscribe, of course, and click to the next uh, video. But uh, we did create a problem for you to, to study as an extra problem. Try this on your own also. Pause the video. See if you got the same answer. Um, and if you do hit the like button, subscribe, everything. Uh, and, uh, the reason I just want to say that, the, that we, uh, make these tutorials totally for free, uh, it, the way we're able to do that is by having viewers like you see these videos. So definitely, if you like what you see, do hit the like button, definitely subscribe. It helps us tons, uh, and let your friends know that these videos are available. 
uh, we're providing tutorials in algebra, geometry. When you move on to algebra two, we're having we have videos in that uh, pre-calc, biochem, physics, all of that. So definitely look out for those. So let's see. Now here, an equilateral triangle has a height twenty, and to the nearest tenth, what is the length of the sides of the triangle? Okay. So let's see if we can do the same thing as before. Draw a diagram. You should you should draw a diagram. We want the uh, length of the sides, right? Um, you should know to draw a diagram. I don't want you I don't want you to hear me say, "Hey, I'm going to draw a diagram," and then you get the idea to draw a diagram. Draw one. If a diagram is not given to you, draw one. That's not the best triangle, but it looks equilateral. So, okay. So now the height is 20. So I'm going to drop a vertical, and the height is 20. Okay, so now this one is a little bit harder uh, because I, I don't have two sides. I have just one side, but maybe I, there's something I could do here. I do know that this is a 60-degree angle. I do know that this is 30 degrees. Okay, so this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if this bottom side, this, um, and what I mean, I'm ignoring this triangle and I'm looking at just the left side. So if this is X, this bottom side is X. Then this side is X radical 3. And this side is 2X. Okay, so the height is X rad 3 in this format a formulation is equal to 20. Then I divide by radical three, I divide by radical three, and I got X is equal to 20 over rad three. They're not asking for the answer as a radical, so I'm not gonna bother uh, converting it into a um, simplest radical form so that uh, ration I rationalize the denominator. But if you did wanna do that, you multiply the numerator by and denominator by radical three. Okay, and then you get 20 radical 3 over 3. But I'm going to keep it that way just to avoid any extraneous any, any extraneous errors. The length of a leg is 2x is equal to 2 times 20 over rad 3. And in fact, this decimal answer is enough, so I'm going to plug it into the calculator. Now, before I plug it into the calculator, though, we should be able to use some intuition to decide what the answer should be. Based on look uh, the diagram, the height is 20. Okay. The length of a side is longer than the height. It just looks longer than the height. And I know it has to be longer than the height because the altitude is the smallest length from the from the vertex to, to a base. So it has to be the, the side has to be longer than 20. So that that eliminates this. But it's not double the length of the height. So it's not gonna be this. It's probably not gonna be this, but I suspect that this is the answer. Um, okay, I suspect that's the answer. So let's see what, what the calculator says. It's 2 times 20 radical 3, uh, divided by a radical 3, sorry, 2 times 20 divided by the square root of 3. Close the parentheses, oops, delete, oh, close the parentheses, and uh, 23.1. 2x is equal to 23.1. Uh, so that is, the, in fact, the answer. Um, okay, uh, definitely thanks for watching. Um, th uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and, and, and stay tuned for the next video starting right now.